Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing in this update. We're still locked into a spring pattern across the west, but there are two storms coming, but both of them are trending weaker in this update. And the timeline 414 to 419, you can see we're at times out for the Wasatch, Tetons, Colorado, and the Sierra. So for example, on the Wasatch, I'm forecasting light to moderate snow accumulation, late 414 into 415, Colorado, moderate to heavy accumulation. And especially that's the case for some zones, and I'll show you those coming up, 415 and 416. All right, let me jump over to uh, Jetstream here. There's your forecast by the close of business today. High pressure ridging across a lot of the Intermountain West. Your trough or storm system is on approach to California. By 413, it's there. 414 starts to make its move, and by 415, it's sliding through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado, and New Mexico and then it moves away. But there's a second storm that rotates in from the north with all that jet energy, 4, 16, 17, 18, which would likely brush Montana, Wyoming, and Colorado with some additional snow, and then it moves away. And then the pattern kind of opens up and it really warms up. Look at that, that subtropical branch. There's a bit of a disturbance there moving into California that likely spreads some rain showers with a warmer pattern into the Intermountain West. All right, here's the forecast. Um, Radar and satellite by 5.30 this afternoon. An increase in clouds across Colorado this afternoon and tonight with a warm front, maybe even a snow shower. But the main storm is back there and on approach into California. And here it comes. There's 4.13, 4.14, breaks away. 4.15 moves through Utah, Wyoming, Colorado. Spreads some pretty good snow there across uh, the continental divide of Colorado. Some rain down in Denver. This is Tuesday, 4.16 and then it slides away. Second storm comes in from the north and brushes a number of areas with some additional snow, but that storm is much weaker than what we were talking about the last couple of days, and then here comes that warmer pattern, 420 and 421 with some rain showers. Okay, let's talk numbers. Here's my latest grand total map. By late 421, again, some pretty good numbers there in parts of uh, the um, the central and northern mountains, right on top of the continental divide of Colorado, looking at potentially eight to 16 inches, less western slope, less southern Colorado. The numbers for the Tetons and the Wasatch have gone way down. Um, just the weakening of both storm systems and the track shifting. Um, in California, moderate, light to moderate snows, you know, at mid elevations. But if you were to go higher up, you'd be at a foot or more. And that's what you're seeing there with Mount Shasta. Okay, let me break it down by time period. So uh, today through tomorrow, most of it's in California. 414 through 416, that storm makes its move, drops a little bit of snow in Utah, and moderate to heavy snow, again, right on top of the Continental Divide in Colorado, looking at some snow up in, in interior BC and Banff. Final time period, 417 to 421. Again, with the weakening of that second storm, there just isn't a whole lot of additional snow here, 417 to 421. Going into the northeast, a couple of rain showers today, tomorrow, and maybe some light snow at the very tail end of this, uh, this time period. But again, not looking at any major snow storms in the forecast at this point. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in here. Always appreciate it, and take care.